So in this video, we're going to take a look at maps. They are order lists, and they have a key and a value. The main difference between a set and a map is that the map has a key and a value. They can hold any value. So for example, you can create a new map by adding a variable, client equals to new map. And then for example, you can console log this client console of client and at the moment this is going to be empty so if you remember when you are working with sets you use dot add in this case is client dot set and you need to pass a key and a value so we're gonna add name and I'm gonna add for example name current save this and now you can see we have a map it has a length of one and you can see we have zero and it says name and the value so we have key and a value so let's add a second one client set we're gonna add a membership and we're gonna add premium and uh, finally i'm gonna add a third one let's add for example a balance and this is going to be a number so save this and now you can see uh, we have a map with three different values name membership balance and also we have uh, the values current premium and the amount so let's see how you can retrieve a value from a map. So for example, we're going to access the values. The values, and we need to comment this line. So we're going to use, for example, console, console log, and we're going to name the map. And then we're going to use a dot, and we're going to use get. For example, then uh, you can pass the key that you want to retrieve. So for example, the name, and save this. And let me comment this line and you can see we have Karen right here. So you can access the other values if you want. And it's going to be membership and it's going to be the balance. So save this and you can see we have the three different items. So let's review for example and I'm going to comment everything from here. And I'm going to add a comment. Map methods it's going to be like this. We're going to get map size. It's going to be, for example, console.log. You pass the name of the map and then dot size. Save this and this is going to return three. We have only three items into the map. Check if a value exists. We're going to use console.log. And you can use, for example, you can use client.has. And from here we can pass, for example, the key membership. And you can see that we have a membership right here. So we can save this and it's going to return true. We can add, for example, member uh, scenes. And this is going to return false. So the main difference between get and has is going to be, for example, if I copy this and paste, and then you add get, and we have uh, values that doesn't exist, member scenes. You can see this one return false, and the other one return on the final. In case that we add values that does exist, and you can see we have true and we have premium. So the first one is going to return if this, this value exists, and the other one is going to return uh, the value, the actual value. So let's see how we can remo remove elements. Remove elements from the map. And we're going to use, for example, client and a dot. Then you use uh, delete. And then you pass the name of the key that you want to remove. In this case, in the map, you are always to refer to the, these keys. So, for example, we're going to use a delete key, save this, and now you can see we have the map, and we only have a membership and a balance. So, finally, and let me comment all of these. And we can also clear the map clear the map and then you can use for example client which is the name of the map and then clear and this is going to remove all the contents from this map uh, similar again as we saw in the previous video with sets and also from a local storage so you can pass default uh, also default values into the map so for example let's say and I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna remove this also so let's say that we create a new a new variable. Cons is going to be patient. So we have, for example, an hospital. And then we're going to add new map. 
Then you open parentheses, then you open square brackets. From here you create another square brackets. And right here I'm going to add name. And I'm going to give the name, patient name. Between this and these square brackets, I'm going to add a comma. And I'm going to create another square brackets. So then we have room and a comma. And then we have a not defined. So if you console log this patient like this, save this, and you can see we have name, we have the patient name, and then we have the room, and it says not defined. So for example, if you add a patient dot set, you add name, so that you give a name poll, then you can see that we have the name, but the room is not defined. If you add a room, you add 404 save this and now you can see we have the name and you have also the room so this is how you create uh, default values so let me comment this and here on the top you can see that we have this client new map so let's see for example how you can pass for each into a map so it's going to be client the name of the map dot for each and then you give the uh, for example client info then you use the arrow function console log and then I'm going to use again template or string literals dollar sign open the braces client info like this save this you can see we have current we have premium and then we have 3000 uh, same as the arrays or objects you can add a comma right here when you are passing uh, two different arguments into this uh, arrow function and uh, you have to use parentheses but you can add for example the index and pass the index right here so save this and you can see that the indexes of the maps are the keys and the values are going to be in the, these that we have here so these are maps they are also really helpful in the next video we're going to continue working we're going to see uh, iterators and generators